Hey guys, how's it going? Today is usually baby update day, but nothing has really changed from week 32 to week 33. So instead of doing that, we are going to get down and dirty with postpartum care. So I don't know about you guys, um, my last two babies, I tore fairly significantly um, with both of them. And postpartum just hurts. Um, you're so glad to have the baby out, you're so glad to be done with delivery, you're so glad to be home, but then you have to take care of you. That first bowel movement after you have a baby, yeah, that hurts. Your body has been through a lot and so many people don't talk about it. So today I am talking about one thing that will help with your postpartum care. We are doing some pad sickles. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of these. There's a ton of videos and stuff. I looked at so, so many of them. And this is what I came to decide to use. So first of all, I don't like the pads with wings because for the underwear that I wear, they just don't work. So I just did a straight pad. It's an overnight pad. They work great. I can tell you that because as you guys know, with this sickness, I have had what do you want to call them? Urinary accidents? I've peed myself a lot in the last little while. And so I actually wear these pads. I probably have to go get some more, but I have to wear these pads at night when I'm coughing and during the day I have one on. <coughs> so when things like this happen, I don't pee my pants and have to change my pants all the time. So I can tell you from experience, these pads can hold a lot of fluid. Yeah, enough said. Way too much DMI. Anyway, so on to the pads. Okay, here is our supply list. You need some maxi pads. These are overnight ones. I don't get the ones with the wings because these just seem to work better for me. Some Melaleuca oil. This is good for healing, so it'll be great with helping in the aiding of the healing of your lady bits. Now we have the witch hazel, which helps with the swelling, and also it helps soothing with your sore parts. And also aloe vera gel. So now let's get on to how we put these things together. All right, let's get started. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your hands are clean so you're not adding any bacteria. Grab your pad, open it up. These ones don't have wings, so that makes it a lot easier to close back together. Now we're gonna start, we want to make sure that we're putting everything in the middle of the pad because that's where you really need it. Start with your aloe and add a couple glops or just a long stream down the middle and then we are going to rub that in just with a knife. Once that's all nice and smooth, then we're going to add a tablespoon of witch hazel and just lightly put that over that center area. And then to finish it off, we add our melaleuca oil. Just a couple drops on each part of that. Now we just fold it back up, push the tab back on, and put it in our large Ziploc baggie and this is ready to go in the freezer. With everything else, try to make sure that the air is out of most of your bag just so it's nice and tight in there. Let's go put these in the freezer. Sorry guys, my freezer is not very clean right now. However, I don't think the kids will be eating these. So we will stick them in the back there until baby gets here. And that's it, they're really super easy. I've never done these before, so I'll let you know how they go after we have the baby. But I figured for a couple dollars, it's worth a try. I know that I'm just one of those that doesn't like to carry all of that stuff into the bathroom with me every time, and even if I have, a bathroom ready. This is just easy to take and it's cooling especially for those first couple days home with the baby when your lady bits are in pain. So this is just a tip to try and help you guys out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please click that thumbs up button and don't forget to comment down below and let us know how this worked for you. We'll talk to you later guys. Bye.